Today, we will talk about the elements of the story. They are also called literary elements. So what are story elements? Story elements are the important parts that make up a story. They help us understand what we are reading. All fictions have story elements. There are five story elements. Let's call them the element five. Let us use the fingers of our hand to study them. Each finger will represent each element. The thumb shall stand for the character or characters. Seldom does a story have one character. Characters are the individuals that act in the story. They can be persons, animals, things, or sometimes imaginary creatures. The index shall represent the setting. Setting is the time and the place where the story happened. It could be as simple as the words inside, outside, in the house, at the park, one sunny afternoon, during a stormy night. The middle, being the longest finger, shall stand for the plot. The plot refers to the series of events happening in the story. It shows the beginning, the middle, and the ending. The ring finger shall stand for the conflict. This is the problem that is being resolved in the story. This is the part that tells something goes wrong within or among the characters in the story. This teeny weeny finger shall stand for the theme. It may be the smallest finger, but the theme gives the biggest idea or the underlying message of the story. We may simplify this as the value or the moral lesson taken from the story. Now you know the element 5. I'd like to test how well did you remember it. Can you try and enumerate it using the fingers on your hand? Yeah! Wait! Let's review first! Good job! Let's do that! The thumb represents the characters. The index is the setting. The middle finger is the plot. The ring finger is the conflict or the problem. The pinky is for the theme of the story. Now it's your turn. Enumerate the elements of the story using your hand. Be sure to say your answer right before the bell rings. Let's begin. The thumb stands for Good job! The index is for That's great! The middle finger is for Wow, you're good! The ring finger stands for Finally, the pinky stands for Wow, that's neat. You did a great job. You're great. Now you're ready for the next round. Toto Turtle takes time to think. Toto is a very playful turtle. He loves to make friends and spend a lot of time playing with them by the pond. But Toto often got mad easily too. When he got mad, he used to hit and to yell at his friends. They got upset and refused to play with him any longer. This makes Toto even angrier. One day, his mother called him aside and taught him the proper way to think like a turtle. Toto now knows what to do when he gets mad. He can stop 
and keep his hands, body, and yelling to himself. He can tuck inside his shell and take three deep breaths to calm down. He can then think of a way to make things better. Toto's friends like him better now. He gets along well and uses nice words all the time. Here's something to remember. Sometimes, things happen that can make us really mad too. But here's what Toto has to say. You can always do the Toto way. Stop and take time to think. Let's talk about the elements of this story. Who were the characters in our story? When and where was the setting? What was the conflict? What lesson did we get from the story? I hope you learned a lot, and most importantly, I hope that you will always remember the technique that Toto Turtle taught us on how to control our anger too. Here's a song to help you remember. Come and sing along with me. When you're mad or feeling angry, remember Toto ways stop yourself from hurting others take deep breaths and stay away take your time and think of solving how to make your feelings right when you're calm down then you're ready go ahead and have more fun Toto's technique is the answer it's a cool way to calm down Just like a turtle you can tuck in Take deep breaths and take some time When you calm down, then you're ready Just get back and have more fun That's a cool way you can do it Just take your time Toto's technique is the answer a cool way to calm down just like a turtle you can tap in take deep breaths and take some time when you calm down then you're ready just get back and have more fun that's a cool way you can do it just take your time yes that's a cool way you can do it just take your Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da